Welcome back to Down the Stretch, everyone. I'm Mark Asano. My thanks to both Rick Violet and Karen McLaughlin for having joined us and wish both of them the best in this afternoon's Whitney. Parting Glass has been a sponsor of Down the Stretch for a number of years, and we are so pleased that earlier this week they scored their first Saratoga victory with their first Saratoga starter. And uh, joining us this morning to tell us all about what's happening with Parting Glass is Mr. Tom Gallo. Tom, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Mark. And congratulations. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's I'm still I'm still floating on air. It's unbelievable. First of all, to you know start off the meet with a win, and uh, this filly really deserved it. It's been a little bit of hard luck for her her last two races. She's a front running filly. She got caught at the wire by a neck. This last time got caught at the wire by a nose by another filly, uh, uh, coincidentally, that I managed for this other racing stable. But it, it, was, it was frustrating, but at the, same point, at the same point, it set her up perfectly right, right. You know, for Saratoga. Right. And we were just so tickled to death to see you know, the first quarter going almost 25 and the second let's quarter. Take, let's take a look at you it. Know, it, was, it was, let's uh, roll it. This is Alabama bound in a Wednesday maiden special. She is number one in here, she rated kindly, even oh, though yeah. she was in front. Absolutely. She's, she's a very, in her head, she's a very mature, you know, talented filly. She, she, can, she can rate, she can relax, and then when you ask her, she goes. And, and it's just a part of her personality. Like during the day, she's as sweet as can be. I had my grandchildren out here the other day feeding her mints, you know, yeah. from, from, yeah. from their little four- and five-year-old hands. And yet, you know, when you put a saddle on her or when you ask her to go, she goes. But she can really relax on the lead. Fortunately, nobody really went out to challenge her, which, which set up nicely. And uh, she loped along. And she's, as you can see, she's very relaxed. Uh, the fractions came up beautifully, you know, for a front runner. Right. So she still had a right. lot left. And then she drew off and won. And, oh, my goodness, I, I had no voice left. <laughs> and and uh, <laughs> one of our owners told, told me this morning that she got uh, blisters jumping up and down, for you, you know, uh, riding the horse down the stretch. So it's, it's, it's really exciting. And, and she's such a sweet horse. And a lot of these owners... Are, are new. Um, not everybody in the wind picture, of course, were owners. We had about, I think, about eight, eight or nine owners there. But um, this actually is a little bit of a Cinderella story because the horse I originally purchased for this partnership very early on had a career-ending injury. Right, right. And, and I actually was able to um, purchase Alabama Bound as a replacement, as a replacement for right. these new people. I mean, they were new. They had just signed on, and, and, and all of a sudden they have no horse, and you just can't say, well, that's it, you, you yeah. know, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the type of yeah. image we want to have in the, race, in, in the racing business. But as you can see, she's just striding out here, and, and, she's, and she galloped out strong too. But, uh, so it's a bit of a Cinderella story. So you got a replacement horse, and she wasn't the primary objective, but then she turns out to be... A winner at Saratoga, so there's nothing better than that. Yeah, you know? we we are always told that winning any kind of a race at Saratoga is very very special. It's absolutely is that true. The case? It's absolutely true. It doesn't matter what what kind of what kind of race you're in. You're on. I mean, let's face it. This is hallowed ground. You'd have had the best throughout the ages. Come here, train here, win here. They come from everywhere. And even though you've been entering in specific races, you know, throughout the year down at Belmont, you come up to Saratoga, and all of a sudden, horses that you never heard of, you know, come out of the woodwork. Either they've been saved for Saratoga, or, you know, they're coming from out yeah, of town, yeah. and because everybody yeah, wants to run at Saratoga. Stuff, yeah. It's serious stuff. How this many, is the major leagues here. How this many partners? Do we have local folks involved with Alabama yes, Bound? Yes, many oh, local folks. Nice. Many local folks, and a lot of first-time folks. So oh, it's, that's it's great. great. Hopefully they won't think it's too easy. Th that's the thing. That's, yeah. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. Now, you know. that was Wednesday. you got a couple in tomorrow. You have Khaleesi, Cad in the fifth, yes. and you have Cliffs of Dover in the seventh, who we're going to see on the screen in just a moment. Tell us a little bit about them. Well, Khaleesi Cat is a, is a, oh, this is Cliff right here. Right. right. Cliff, Cliff is coming back first time gelding. Oh, okay. You know, and, and, and as all, all, you know, all of you know, the, when you geld a male, 
you know, they become, they, they become a little more attentive. They forget about that, the motorcycle, the hoochie mama, and the tattoos, and they focus, <laughs> they focus on what they need to do. Yeah. You, you can keep them in line a little easier, you know. But anyway, he's first time gelding, and uh, it's funny, at our meetings and things, and at our handicap things, when you talk about gelding a horse and you look at the crowd that you're talking to, <laughs> yeah. the men are all like, yeah. they're like this, and the women have these big <laughs> smiles on their faces, you know? <laughs> some of them actually laugh, and some of them are going like this, watch out, buddy. But anyway, we're, he was, he's a very headstrong horse. We actually had his mother, who ran the same way. She would fight to get to the lead all the time, and this was his situation. And um, actually, Tom Bush trained the mother, ambidextrous. She would fight to get to the lead, so we learned to like cover her up, you right. know, behind horses, right. and then pull out right. and win. And she became a stakes mare, and you know, a very accomplished filly. I think she earned about one hundred and seventy thousand. Um, Cliff is the same way, except he's a much stronger. He was just a much stronger horse. So after Tom tried various equipment, you know, at one point you got to say the equipment has to come off. Okay. You know, so. So we're hoping that this turns him. This turns him around. He's active. He's still strong, and he's still got great appetite, great color, and and a great physique. But we're hoping this just sort of, you know, tempers his attitude, and again focuses him more on, you know, getting to the finish line first. He was hanging a little bit. I mean, he did break his maiden open company down at Gulfstream. Okay. So he's an We thought we had an accomplished right, horse, right. but then afterwards he just. He just sort of hangs right at right when he needs to be, okay. you know, when he needs to be okay. going. But I think this will make a big difference. He looks good. Um, he's nine to two in the overnight. So I think for all you, you know, punters out there and handicappers, I think he's worth a shot. One, two, three, you're in the mix. Uh, Khaleesi Cat is. Um, uh, I manage her for Niantic River Racing. I bought them the mother, Niantic Cat, right. who won the Yadu up here, won just shy of 400000 She's actually the first foal. She's coming in off a layoff. She's actually, in the time off, she's really matured and filled in. She, she looks like a different filly than she was last year, and she's really on the bridle. So I think... The 12 to 1 might be the fact that she had a bit of a clunker, and then there's the layoff. Right. But I think she's also, you know, I think they're both in really good spots, and I think they're both going to be very competitive. Let's talk uh, finances. What kind of financial investment does it take to get involved with Parting Glass? Well, I think with, with, with racing partnerships, I think it's a great way for people to get their feet wet. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To uh, a lot of people come in. They'll eat, just get one horse, that's enough as far as their risk tolerance, and then, or they might get multiple horses. So they have, so they have action you know, on a regular right. basis. And some people use it as a stepping stone to learn the business, to learn you know, about the backstretch, introduce, you know, get introduced to trainers and people, and then you know, maybe form a stable like Niantic River Racing, form their own stable, right. or you know, start to, we have a couple of racing partnerships here that are alumni of me, so I actually taught my competitors. But anyway, they're doing well, and we wish you always wish everybody the best because it's so tough yes, it, no, <laughs> to win races in this business, and you want everybody to win. Um, so I think I think racing partnerships are a good way, you know, for really people to get started in the business. Well, they um, are, but you didn't answer my question. All oh, right, okay. As far as where guys, they start, listen, sure. For, for guys like me, whose allowance has an increased. In the last exactly, 20 years, right, right. what's it going to take? Right, fixed income or yes. people that are retired, yes. bucket list people. Absolutely, it, it can take as little as three to five thousand, okay. you know, to get in. Right, and then if you want to buy a bigger percentage of the horse, it, 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 it increases exponentially. But it's according to, you know, your your risk again, your risk tolerance. Right, you know, you budget right. a certain amount of money. Hopefully, you do well, but essentially, you know, that money is spoken right. for, mad right. money or whatever, right. and then. If you have a good experience, maybe you'll do it again. You know, we've had a lot of repeat people. We're very lucky. Good. You know, we've been in it now almost 15 years, yeah. and uh, no, I guess actually 15 years, and we have a lot of our original customers That's still with good. us. So That's it's good. good. You know. That's good. Uh, let's put it up, Pat. If we can put that up for one more second, uh, this is the way you can get in touch with Tom. You can uh, call him. Lo the local number is five eight seven five 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 zero. The toll-free number is 877-722-3946. Give Tom Gallo a call. He will be happy to answer any and all of your questions about how you can get involved with parting glass racing. And not, not only that, we like to meet people here on the backstretch. Saratoga is very unique 
in that we can really big people around. You have an Oklahoma backstretch tour annually right. in the spring and I'm summer. I'm here every single morning, you know, uh, bringing people around, introducing them to trainers, showing them their horses, or, you know, just bringing people around and giving them the lay of the land. You'd be surprised, Mark, how many people don't realize what goes on. To put on the show of in the afternoon, to put on that show in the Absolutely. afternoon, what goes on in the morning Absolutely. to really, to really, the, to, to really prepare for that, and it's very interesting. And people that do do it, and they do call me, and I bring them around, um, they really enjoy it, and they come back for more. You've been in this a long time, forty years. Do well, obviously, you started when you were six or seven. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> do you still have? As much passion, things have changed in the sport a lot. Oh the yeah, they've changed. Yes, you still have yeah. as much passion Absolutely. for it as you once did. Absolutely, yeah. I think it's all about the horses. I mean, there's nothing better than you know watching these horses. We're not big on pushing two-year-olds, and we're not big on, um, you know, we we don't do claiming partnerships. Right. I try and buy well-bred fillies, which is a which is a business model that's worked. We buy well-bred fillies. We develop them into really good older horses. And then at the end of their career, hopefully we can auction them at Keeneland. We right. auctioned in the past two years. We auctioned one for two hundred and ten thousand, one for two hundred thousand back in two thousand. And the partners get a piece of that. Uh, yeah, and that that you know that trickles back as a dividend, right? Or some the residual to right. them. That works real well. But I really like watching horses. Like I was telling you about how after a layoff, Khaleesi Cat just matured and changed. That's what really gets me excited to see these horses really develop right. into good older horses. And then they have extended racing careers, and that allows the partners to really get, you know, have a connection with yeah. the horses and really look forward to seeing them and having that, that, that real uh, relationship. They develop a relationship with the horses, That's which good. is really cool, well, you know. Well, listen, congratulations with Alabama Bound. Oh, thank you. All the best tomorrow with the two Sunday, you have. Yeah, All absolutely. the best the rest of the meet. Thank you. We thank you for... Um, a continuing sponsorship for Down the Stretch. It's always a pleasure. And we want to thank you by giving you this $100 gift oh my certificate goodness. to Jacob and Anthony's American Grill. It's at 38 High Rock Avenue. Wow. It's right around the corner from the Parting Glass Yeah, Pub. really, wow. You may see Mr. Guillaume there. Yeah. If you do, maybe he'll buy you a drink. <laughs> and, I could uh, roll out of the Parting Glass Pub and, and crawl right. over. Um, I, I'm actually on a, on, a, on a diet, a strict diet. Well, so they, I'm, I'm going to no, probably give have, this to one of my... One of my lucky, whatever, lucky members. Whatever you would like to do. Oh, we'll with bring it. A, we'll bring a whole group over. What the heck? Congratulations on the win. Thank you Good very luck. much. Thanks. We appreciate it. Thank you.